I've painted the underside of the floor to make life easier uh, just to protect it uh, before I, I put it in but I've also done the sill the sill you see there that, that sill is all painted uh, not with the top coat but uh, again a colour it's difficult to get to when you um, when you put the sill in it's fairly low down but there are there's the new floor in position the outrigger holes line up as you can see there and the front uh, fixing for the floor um, to, to hold the floor to the uh, chassis is there um, and I said uh, you've had, you have to cut out the hole because um, this is a different the TR4 has got a different handbrake system to the 3A, uh, 4A so uh, the fly off handbrake there um, you have to cut the hole out very carefully to make sure everything lines up and of course through here you have your the uh, speedo coming through and uh, everything lines up I've just got to uh, fix on the outer part of the the sill um, and then I can start putting in the the posts and this side section. Here's the A post welded in, uh, spot welded all the way down and, and welded at the bottom ready for a light filling and all of the side here is exposed and ready for the next stage. All the side ready. Um, need to put the door on. I've already had the door on and lined everything up. I put um, a, a self tapping screws in just to hold it temporarily so that I knew that all the door gaps were right. I'll show you that. I'm just going to talk about my old spot welder. I'm very lucky I've had this a long time and I've got a good selection of electrodes for it for as you can see for getting into odd spaces. I've got uh, pivotable uh, electrode tips and I've got uh, short, long, cranked and I've made up for this job I've made up this sort of special you can see the way I've I've bent it so I can get through this void I can get over a sill or round something and still get in to, to weld it. The other thing that I've done you can see um, to get into awkward spaces uh, I've got this tip which I've drilled and tapped and I can pivot it, I can, I can spin it so that it um, can get right into this, a, a difficult corner. Um, what I discovered was that uh, a, a welding tip from a, a MIG welder, which this is an old one, I've, I've drilled and tapped uh, using, a, this is an M8 with a 1.2 pitch uh, tap uh, and this is an old worn out electrode tip, a contact tip on a MIG welder um, and drilled and tapped it, used a, used a, a 7 mil drill and then tapped it out to the um, 8 mil, and it tightens up, get good contact. It does overheat quickly, but I find it gets into the awkward places. Here's the side panel clamped in, ready there. You see the the hole here for the drain from for the from the plenum. Um, the spot welder will come in and weld all the way along here. I've left this, the, the front part is still open, I haven't put the kickboard in yet so that will allow me access with Here you see the spot welder working now getting in from the, while it's exposed from the front
that's as far as I can reach. I'll put a few more spot welds in in a minute. Here I am coming from a different angle now. I've shaped the these electrodes so that I can get over the the post. We'll tack it as well with the MIG belt and braces. Starting to puff a bit, it's quite heavy this gadget. Heavy duty. Spot welder. That's that bit done. Show you the next. Next stage is uh, welding in the top flange. I've got a couple of clamps on there. Get a spot weld in. So I can take the clamp off. Either side. That clamp. Clamp's off now. I'll do now and I can go around and re-spot re weld the, the gaps, put the plate back in here that I've made, the, uh, this one, this goes in behind and then I can spot weld that in, show you that. This is it partially welded in, you can see the inside all in, I'll do this, try this again tomorrow when I can bit more light. It's starting to get dark, a bit too dark in here, artificial light. I'll show you the finished well. Well that's the A post on um, and the footwell done, all the wiring exposed. I've taken the dash out so that I can paint the, the post uh, easily without any damage. I've got a the door swings nicely. I've got a good gap uh, on the on the wing. Uh, final adjustment on the gaps on the on the bonnet. Um, all in all, very happy. The door has to be rebuilt. 
I'll perhaps show that in a, a, a later video. I've got uh, rebuilding to do here and some up in the corner here which is uh, needs sorting out. Uh, I'll take the the windscreen completely out while I've got the the dash out and that will allow me to replace all the rubbers but uh, so far